Now let's move on to the magic wand tool. It can be located in the upper part of your toolbox as well. Right now, mine is hidden right here under the quick selection tool. The magic wand will select one color range in a document or image. Before we start working this tool, I'm going to go back to my history and undo enough steps to make my star whole again. And that'll do for me. I could go back to the beginning if I wanted to. Either way is fine. At this point, if you see that you can't make your star whole again, then that means you've done more than 20 steps. If you look here, I've done about 10 steps. If you do more than that, more than 20, then you uh, won't be able to undo anymore. That's okay, just keep it in mind for next time. To use the magic wand tool, first I need to make sure that I have the correct layer selected, and I do. And all I need to do is click on an area and you can see that it selects the one color. If I select the star, it will select the star. Notice that when I select things, this blue is selected and it will give me dancing ants around the outside of the blue and around the inside. So that's telling me that the blue is what I have selected. If I wanted to move it, again, I'd go to the Move tool and click and drag and it moves it. And you can see that when we did our rectangular marquee that I have a little bit of red on there. So it only selects the blue color. Now let's move on to the quick selection tool. This tool is very similar to the magic wand tool, but it has one major difference. This tool will select similar colors in a range or image and add to the selection that you're working on. So here it is. There's your magic wand. Here's your quick selection tool. So now I'm going to click on the star after I deselect command D and likely it will select the whole star. Sometimes you need to click and drag in order to get it to work. But when colors are solid like this, you may not need to click and drag. But let's say that I wanted to do this green oval as well. All I need to do is click and drag across the green there and click and drag and I have that green oval. Notice that the blue is in front, so if I do try to move this, I'd have to go through all those steps again, make sure I have the move tool, and I'm on the correct layer. It won't move the whole oval because this was in front of it. These are all in the same layer, so now that this blue is covering it, that part of the oval is actually gone. So keep that in mind as well. Before you play with these tools, let's look at a practical reason to use them. Let me open an image that I have here. Let's say that I wanted to take this dog and I wanted to put him inside of this park. If I use the magic wand tool, remember that the magic wand tool will select one color. Okay, so if I select a new part, see that's, that's showing me that I'm on the wrong layer. See, it's selecting parts of the trees. So you have to be on the correct layer. Okay, so you can see that when I make a new selection, it will deselect the part that I had done before. But let's say that I wanted the whole dog to be selected. I can actually hold down Shift, and we'll work more with this later, so just watch and click and it will add to the selection. Notice that my dancing ants are becoming more and more full across the dog. But it's easier in this case to actually use the quick selection tool. So I'm gonna grab that quick selection tool and now if I click and drag across the eye, there you can see that it selects the whole eye and there and it will select all the areas that the magic wand tool missed. Just try to cover the whole thing. There we go. And notice here that I missed the ear lobes or whatever you want to call those. It did catch a few extra things like this brick and the grass down here. 
I can hold down Alt to get rid of it. Don't worry about uh, knowing all these things just yet. We'll go more into detail on those later. That's how you select all of an object. I'll do a little Photoshop magic. And again, this is not something we're going to talk about. I'm just trying to show you what you can do with it. There the dog is in the park. You can play with size a little bit too. Have a huge dog in the park. Or I can put a rather large dog in front of a tree. Or maybe she's just sitting there on the side. Maybe a rather large dog at the end of the pathway. Anyway, you get the idea. Back to our window. Take a minute to play with these tools, both the magic wand tool and the quick selection tools to get a feel for how they work.